Good day class. In this video, we are still continuing the derivation of position vectors for mechanical manipulators. Now, we will uh, derive the position vectors of cylindrical manipulator. Okay. So, we have here a position, three position vectors from the base up to the end of vector. Okay. So, again, in getting a position vector, we are just getting the distance between two frames. Okay. So, from the base, from 0 up to frame 1, okay, the distance along x sub 0 axis, because frame 0 is the reference frame. So, the distance is 0. Because there is no link length along x sub 0 axis. Next, there is no link length along y sub 0 axis. So the y element is also 0. But along j sub 0 axis, we have a sub 1. Okay? So we will not add theta 1. Okay? We will not add theta 1 to a sub 1 axis. Because this is a revolute joint. The first joint is a revolute joint. Okay. For our uh, position vector from frame 1 to frame 2. Okay. So this is the distance between the origin of frame 1 and frame 2. The origins of frame 1 and frame 2. So, along x sub 1 axis, now our uh, reference frame is frame 1. Along x sub 1 axis, so this is 0 because there is no link length along x sub 1. Along y sub 1, there is also no link length, so this is also 0. Along z sub 1 axis, we have a sub 2. And because the frame... Because the joint 2 is a prismatic joint, we will add the joint variable D2. Okay. Joint variable D2. So this is the right uh, position vector for P12. For position vector from frame 1 to frame 2. Okay. We will not, uh, this, we will not uh, do additional thing. Okay, just uh, apply the finding of distance between the origins of two frames. Okay. Next, for frame 2 to frame 3. Okay, from frame 2 to frame 3, along x sub 2 axis, because we are now at the reference frame, frame 2. So, along x sub 2 axis, we don't have link length along x sub 2 axis. So, this is 0. Along y sub 2 axis, we don't also have link length. Okay. So, this is also 0. A sub 2 is along y sub 2 axis, but A sub 2 does not describe the distance between frame between the origins of frame 2 and frame 3. Okay, next, along z sub 2 axis, along z sub 2 axis, okay, we have a sub 3. And because the frame 3 is a prismatic joint, we will, we will add d3. Okay, so this is the position vectors of a 3 degrees of freedom spatial cylindrical manipulator. Okay. So, if you notice, we don't have additional uh, thing to add here. We don't use uh, trigo functions because two parts are prismatic. Okay. Two parts are prismatic and Theta 1 is at the axis of C sub 0. If this part, if this uh, part upward, 
of the mechanical manipulator from joint 2 up to joint 3 up to effector uh, moves or rotates okay a sub 1 is still at the axis of say sub 0 okay a sub 2 is still at the axis of say sub 1 and a sub 3 is is still at the axis of z sub 2. Okay. So that's all for cylindrical manipulator.